Welcome everybody. Welcome. I'd like to call to order the meeting of the Historic District Commission on March 11th, 2021 at 7 p.m. Commissioners, as I recognize you for roll call, please state your full name and if you're present. Eno? Eno Kalpi, member of the commission, uh, and I am present. Blair? Blair Kalpi, commissioner, present. Robert? Robert Thompson, commission member, present. Ken? Not seeing Ken yet. Susan? Susan Gherkin, Commissioner, present. Alice? Alice Struthers, alternate, present. Uh, Ken is telling me the link won't work. <coughs> Let me, Alisa. If he goes to the calendar on the uh, website, oh, he just said there it is. Okay. <laughs> Continue on roll call. Alisa Struthers, Commission Member Chair, present. And Ken should be popping in here. On the screen. I don't see on the screen. Hi, Elisa, I'm here. Oh, uh, we're in roll call. Ken, could you please state your name and if you're present? Ken Duraney and present. Thank you. Thank you. So tonight before us, we are reviewing an application for appropriateness filed by the Winter Streets and Shared Spaces Committee, um, Veronica Kell. So for the record, I need to, on the official application, there's an owner and there's the property. There's also supposed to be a signature here on the application by the owner. The application filed with us has uh, no owner's signature. In this case, the Shared Winter Streets and Spaces Committee were granted permission to apply uh, via the selectmen. And that puts Veronica Kell as a legal representative for this town owned land during this process, this application. Is that correct, Veronica? That is correct. And what date was that permission given? Um, it would have been a board of select. I wasn't prepared to answer that question, but it was a board of selectmen meeting. Um, we did a vote. Hang on one second, and I can tell you that. Um, I have my agendas here. Um, for the, we discussed it several times, beginning at the beginning, all the meetings from the but beginning. But I just wanna know what the date was that you were the vote was taken to give you permission. Correct. Give me one second and I will let you know. Okay. Uh, discuss vote on concept for uh, shared winter streets and spaces grant. This was uh, February. 
uh, February 2nd, 2021. Thank you. Were you recused from that vote, Veronica? Uh, no, I was not. This was a decision made. Um, we made the decision on, as a town where all the departments, including the Historical Commission, were um, invited to a grant meeting on January 7th. Thursday, so I made the January. vote by the Board of Selectmen giving you permission to apply. Correct. It was on the 2nd. And no, I and did I'll, not recuse myself. You did not recuse. Okay, thank you. No, we are not an officially appointed committee as such. There's nothing in the charter. This was okay. an ad hoc committee. Okay, so to make this valid, really, really valid, Veronica, could we get a verbal commitment that you will go to the town clerk's office and sign this application? Uh, yes, I did. Speak by to four o'clock tomorrow? Today. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Um, I'll, that. I did talk to Kathy about this today. So we have your commitment that you'll do that tomorrow? Uh, absolutely. I would Thank have done you. it today, but they wanted to wait until you had um, look, you had the same document that they had. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, <clears throat> uh, commissioners, you've all got your packets and you've yeah. all had ample time to review, <clears throat> correct? Correct. Yes. So, in this application, there's seven individual requests to erect signs of different sorts, all within the boundaries of Historic District 1. Are there any questions at this time from the applicant? Any questions for us before we begin the review? Uh, questions for you? Yes. Uh, no, I don't believe so. Not at this point, perhaps. I, what is your, I guess my question for you is, what is your process for the review? Could you go over that with us um, as a committee? Like what we will I know be, the process on the board. We will I be reviewing think. individually each of these seven requests. There are seven individual requests for sign placement within Historic District 1. We are going to review and vote on each one of those individually. Um, are, okay, are you looking for us to present them to you? No, we've had ample time to look over your, your, pres your, your, your application, which was very thorough gave us all the information we needed. Okay. So well done on that. Okay, so with that said, and there's no questions from anybody, as we start the review, we will then limit discussion to the commissioners only, unless they have a question to the applicant. Veronica Kell, you're, you're, ap you're the applicant name on here. I know, but I, I can also um, refer to other members of our committee to answer okay. questions, correct? Right, if you're asked a question, but at this time, after this, it'll, the discussion will be limited to the commissioners. Um, can I just clarify, is this a public hearing? This is a historic district commission, yes. So we're having the question okay. time now. I know that you did a very thorough public information zoom meeting where many people ask questions and um if you have no questions of us we will begin our review uh does anybody else on the committee have a question for the commission that's why i put it out there okay thank you i this didn't was know your... if you were just talking to me or no nope, you... this is your opportunity to ask us a question if you'd like um and that we can get that done and we can get on with the review. All right, um, Emily. Um, in case it doesn't end up being a question of the commissioners, I just want to point out 
um, that at location site six, um, we have decided as the grant committee that we will not be making Jeff Street a one way. Therefore, not, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Therefore, um, the begin one way sign will not be a part of that location any longer, but the others will remain in our proposal. Okay, but thank you. That decision wasn't made until after <clears throat> we submitted the application. Okay. Anything else? Commissioners, you ready? Ready. Okay. Proposed site one request. One Vicksburg post with six directional blades mounted. A location, the Triangle Island at the junction of Highland Street and Brookline Street, also known as Route 13. Claire, we can't hear you. Now? Not too well. Thank you. Thank you. She said thank you. I make a motion that we vote on the proposed site one as motion's been made by Claire Calpe. I have, a, I have a question. Look, I couldn't hear Claire before she made the motion. And so it, may I ask a question once the motion's made? Hold on, hold on, Susan. I'm switching computer. I make a motion. to proceed with the vote of proposal number one as presented to us. Do I hear a second? Second. Thank you. And, and you are, would Bob you identify Thompson. yourself? Bob Thompson. Any questions from the uh, commissioners? For no, I, don't, I, don't, I do not have a question. Okay. No discussion being heard? I've got Everybody? discussion now. I have Martin? discussion. Okay. Okay. That is a very dangerous area there. Um, it's a 14 foot tall uh, sign. Um, people, there's trucks going down. There. Is that Brookline Street that I see here? Yes. And, uh, and yes. Route 13 sign. Yes. Yeah, it's a very dangerous intersection. I can't believe there aren't more uh, accidents. We used to um, ask that they had reflectors in the road. They're gone. Um, I use my blinker because I'm afraid I'm going to get hit by a car from Highland Street. And now people are trying to read a sign. I, I just think it's a very dangerous point of, of information when people are trying to figure out who's on the road for Route 13 and Brookline Street. I'm very concerned about that. I as well find that um, coming down Route 13 to be distracted by a sign while going around a corner which is approaching on a crosswalk. Yes. For safety purposes. Yes, I found that, I found that um, a, a scary. Very scary. Coming to you because you're going around a corner and there's going to be a crosswalk right there. Yeah, very, very, and distracting. Yeah, distracted driving. Also, um, so these signs, um, one you want to read the Squanacook Rail Trail. Is that correct? Are yes. you speaking to us? Yeah, Lisa. Right. So I see that one's one's listed to read the Squanacook Rail Trail. Correct. It's my understanding that um, 
these signs, if erected, would be maintained by the highway department? Um, that is correct, yes. Right. And it was also my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, that nothing associated with the rail trail was to be um, funded by taxpayer money? Uh, none of this is being funded by taxpayer money. So I do believe that our highway department municipality is funded by taxpayer Monday money? Um, that is correct in general. However, this is a grant funded project and the funds for this project are from the federal COVID um, CARES Act. Uh, so it's money that the state apportioned. So um, you would pay our highway department out of those funds? Um, that is correct. All of these will be paid should, well, we're going out to bid for the project. Should it be the highway department who installs the signs, um, they would be paid through the grant for the installation. Am Thank I you. understanding your question correctly? Yep. Um, and so even the purchase of the signs, none of this comes from taxpayer dollars. Uh, we will know on March 31st whether or not we are awarded the grant. Right. And Thank you. Um, so does that answer the question? It does. Okay, thank you. I have, a, I have another question. Um, I think what is the intention of the signs for people who would be using the roads for biking or, or people who are walking or driving a car? It's, it's for, um, I guess what we envision and Emmy, if you wanna jump in there or Emily, we envision that people will be parking at the common. Um, we could take this sign and move it over to the corner of the common, but we tried to put it in a spot where um, yeah, it would uh, be less of a um, blight, so to speak, on the common. You know, if, this, if the object is to keep the common pristine, we tried to find locations that would put signage that could direct people to um, Old Meeting House Park, to Pheasant Ridge Trails, to the Miko and John Ajo Trail, to the Rail Trail. It's directional, so people know um, where this is. But the question I have is, if I'm driving a car and it's a 20 mile an hour zone, I know it's posted 20 miles an hour, I don't know anyone who does 20 miles an hour, Trucks are going down on Brookline Street to avoid the traffic light. Trucks are going around here, big tractor trailers. And if I parked at the back of the common and walked over there, I'm endangering myself with the traffic configuration. And I don't think anybody should be looking at a sign while they're driving. Um, the sign itself will be on the island. It I, understand. Yeah, I understand that. I understand and, that. Um, our, our consultant, um, uh, discussed this one with us and the placement of it. So the idea is that someone walking or someone biking, because bikers do come through there, they'll mm -hmm. be on the other side. They won't be on Route 13 necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, but the the hope is that they they would see those and have some idea. I just see it as a big danger and, and distracted driving. Um, is there a location that you think it would be better? Played? We're not going to address that right now. No. We're going to get no. through these. Yeah. Um, it... Okay. Any other discussion from the commissioners? Not hearing any. Are we ready to vote? Yes. Yes. As I, commissioners, as I recognize you, Please state your name and either a yes vote to approve or a no vote to reject. Claire. Claire Kalpi, no. Eno. Eno Kalpi, no. Kenneth. Oh, unmute yourself. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ken Duraney and yes. Susan? 
Susan Gherkin, no. Robert. Robert Thompson, no. Alice. Alice Struthers, no. Elisa Struthers, no. Proposed site one is declined. Moving on to proposed site request two, which is requesting a quote, no. you are here, unquote, map at the town common parking lot with the inclusion of a bike rack and bench. Exact placement is at the Historic District Commission's discretion. Can I have a motion, please? I make a motion that we vote on the request as presented of proposed site number two. Do we have a second? Second, Susan Gherkin. Any discussion? I have a question um, to discuss it. Um, when we were at Bailey's to eat in the igloo, we didn't have a, we didn't, they really didn't want to give us a paper menu. And they showed us that little, that little square thing that you can put your phone on and it gives you all kinds of information. You can do it on your television. You can get information about a company or uh, different areas. And I wondered if maybe that would be helpful too on your sign. I like the idea of a you are here sign map of the tip. Um, where, it's, where it's presented, I don't know, but I do like the idea of you are here. And there are many cyclists that um, come with their vehicles and go off on their, their bicycles. Um, bike racks are a good idea. I've never seen any bikes laid down on the grass around there. Although I suppose people do come with their bikes and then walk around the common and bike racks are safe. They keep them people from tripping on bicycles. Uh, I don't think Townsend's a very good town to be biking on with the traffic. I wouldn't want anybody to be biking on 119 or Route 13. I think it's extremely dangerous. Um, I do know that people go off on bike rides. Um, and hopefully they wear bright colored vests and clothing. But um, I do like the idea of people coming to find where our hiking trails are. And, and I wonder if the committee had thought about those little, those little things that you see at restaurants and other places for businesses um, that you can just put your phone on it to give more information. Elisa, oh, Emmy, Emmy has her hand up. No, no discussion amongst oh, right. amongst the commission. And that is a question. Although that is a, a good suggestion, Susan, it's outside of the scope of, of right. what we have before yep. us to vote on. Right. But I, I, I do like the idea of a, a you are here. Vote. That way. Any other discussion? Is it our discretion where it goes? Is that the point? Of this That's, um proposed if you look at your packet the yeah. reading which says yeah. that yeah Lisa, could i make a comment on the point in hand the Paxton cemetery sign rules explicitly prohibit signs on the common with the exception of the main signs by the intersection that allow for, for things happening on the common that's correct and that is straight from uh, parks and cemeteries I have a copy of it rules. a lot of problems through later earlier but it was straightened out i mean that that's their rules that's not that's not even the commission <laughs> is the parking lot part of the common yes the parking lot is part of the common okay. within the historic district one okay These are all these requests, Susan, are within the boundaries of historic yeah, district. But I, I didn't, I didn't, I was questioning is the parking lot. Yes. It's okay. Town common property. Okay. Any other discussion? Ken Duranian. Uh, that's interesting 
what you all just brought up about other signs located in the common proper or around the common. If the parking lot is part of the common, then there are other signs there to this day that I don't think we knew anything about that were put there. Second is a question on the material of, of this, um, this uh, you are here map, is it metal or wood? I know we don't have jurisdiction over it, but as an architect, I'm curious, and does it fade over time and would it have to be updated? So anyone on the on the um, app applicant yeah. side, is this a metal or wood material? What? I'm happy to answer. Yes, um, Ken, that is, it is actually metal um, okay. and it's powder coated. The firm that um, we, looked at for this is actually out of um, New Mexico and Arizona and they fabricate and create from the top down. So they're, they do the full design, the plexi, the metal, it's all done through them. Um, and it will last the, the um, rigors, I guess you could say of our weather up here in New England. It is something that I asked them as well. They have a lot of projects in the Chicago area. Short answer. And, um, they do a great job. It's probably going to weather somewhat too over time. I'm just concerned about fading and readability over time and graffiti. So things so there's a plexi, like I said, the top is um their sheets overlay in a three dimensional um view. Uh -huh. So um again strength is not an issue. Um oh. they can be washed and cleaned. Okay, good. So it's a relief so, map and so to speak. Yes. In relief. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. This is not letters painted on wood as no. most of uh, stipulations in uh, Mass General Law 40C require. Right. In a historic district. Any other discussion, commissioners? Not hearing any. <clears throat> We're ready to vote. Claire? Claire Kalpi? No. Eno? Eno Kalpi? No. Ken? Ken Duranian, yes. Susan? Susan Gerken, yes. Robert? You have to unmute, Robert. Gotcha. Robert Thompson, yes. Alice? <clears throat> Alice Struthers, no. Alisa Struthers, no. And that is approved. Four yes, three no. Oh. That, that, your count's not right. You got a bad note. It's the other way around, I think. Yeah. yeah. You got yeah. three yes, oh. one no. Three Just yes, one no. I stand corrected. I'll let the record reflect that I reported that wrong. That was three yes, four no. The request is rejected. Proposed site three requests. One VIX. Vicksburg post with six directional blades mounted the location School Street and Highland Street intersection. I make a motion that we vote on proposed site number three as presented to us. Do I hear a second? Uh, second. Susan Gerken. Second. Discussion. I'll second the motion, Robert Thompson. Thank you. Thank you. So it looks like the same concerns as proposed site number one with this one. Yeah. Same concerns. I think so. Same, same concerns. I'm. Uh, I've got to say these are. This is a corner. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Traffic coming out of. Evans, School Street, uh, uh, distracting to motorists. 
my only concern with this location, unlike number one, is is it's adding to actual traffic signs and directional signs. There's, there's, if, if what's in that photo is accurate, you know, where you turn right, where the do not enter, there's many things there to read, um, more than number one. That's it. Anybody else? Not hearing any further discussion. We're ready to vote. Claire? Claire Tulpey, no. You know? You know, Tulpey, no. Ken? Ken Duranian, yes. Susan? Susan Gerken, no. Robert? Robert Thompson, no. Alice? Alice Struthers, no. Alisa Struthers, no. The rest request is rejected. Moving on to proposed site for request one Vicksburg post with six directional blades mounted. Location the southwest corner of Townsend Common, the, the intersection of Route 13 and Route 119. I make a motion that we vote to accept or reject proposed site four as presented to us. My hair was second. Robert Thompson seconded. Any discussion? Well, my discussion is, is in the summertime, if you're sitting at that light, across the street from this proposed location is a telephone pole that is just filled with signs, posters, and now on the opposite side, you're going to have a six-sided, six-directional blade sign. I mean, the whole purpose of the common being in the historic district is to keep it in its pristine condition. That's my. Mm -hmm. I have I have a one point too. We have a, a we have a um, an approved uh, wooden sign, which has temporary banners, which would be right behind that, and it talks about the band concerts for the summer, and um, a few other events that come come and go in Townsend. That's the only that's sign that's allowed, Susan. That. That's the only sign on the common that's allowed. That's right. That's what I said. That's a that's a, that's an approved uh, a wooden post and temporary banners, and that would that sign would um, conflict with the words that are on that, and be more things for people to read and distracted driving. Possibly, but so there's too much to read. I I disagree, but that that's, when you're driving, that's... I don't see how you can read it all. Well. If, if we look at this strategically, the location one, three, and this one are all strategically placed. Each sign leads to the next, leads mm -hmm. to the next. It's a nice layout. And how are people going to know about all these attractions if, if there are no signs at all? To well, maybe we, can, to this maybe, we can, maybe we can review the one up for the back of the common. I, you, I don't think you can have one and not all three. That's where I'm coming from. I've studied this from a traffic perspective, safety, everything you're mentioning, Susan, is mm. valid. I, I don't disagree with that, but come on, we have to have some attraction to get people, not necessarily into the common, but around it and circulate and know where these oh. features are that we, we work so hard to maintain. But remember, this is only seven proposed sites. Yep. Of how many are there totally, Veronica? Um, there are many more. Yeah, um, right. but they don't 
all um, if you're on the common and you're there for a concert, you might not be driving, but you might see these signs and you might become aware that we do have wonderful walking trails here in town. Um, you, I mean, if you look at these, we chose them so that um, they would look very much like the signs in Concord, Mass. And um, there are a lot of attractions there. Yes, we will have single signs along the road at the location, like on Meeting House Hill Road, right where it joins um, Highland Street. There will be a sign there pointing to Old Meeting House Park, but there will be nothing on the common in the center of town that tells people, oh, you might want to go up that road. There's a lovely park up that way. And then you'll see the next sign that it points you to. Um, that's why these are critical. They're in the center of town and people that come to visit town, uh, it would be nice if they knew that there were other attractions beyond the common. And there's really, um, this is really a, a, an ideal place for them. That, that's why we put them there. We wouldn't have otherwise. And we did try to respect um, the fact that this is a historical area. Um, we like that about town. Yeah, so that's I attended nice. the presentation to Veronica. That that's a good segue. Um, several weeks ago, it was very informative, and when this was first presented, and one of the questions I had at that time was why these locations, why that island, why this corner, were, were other were alternate locations for these picket uh, posts looked at, and I I have to, um, you know, thank you for the justification and and the, the intent. But these are these are the most logical places that I could come up with too, from a planning perspective. So it's like any other any other town, our size, larger, more larger historic concerns, larger boards. When something new is added, people adapt. They get used to it. They they know it's part of the landscape. They only have to look at the sign once to know where the directions are pointing to. It's not something you you it's not a destination you go to look at several times a day. Neither is the, the, the Route 13 sign right above it, which looks like it has precedence over the picket sign. That was good planning too, uh, in terms of the height of the signs. But everybody knows, uh, very few people coming into the center which way 13 goes. And I don't think they're looking at those signs. People have a general idea which is Northeast and West and South. So that's where my yes votes are coming from on this. I found that many um, many people I've spoken to uh, when I asked them where they how they find out uh, where they are or where they want to go. GPS. Yeah. yeah. GPS. Also, I I would expect that the uh, rail trail is going to have maps and information about location of the bike trail. Um, uh, recreation department, I, you have a town website um, where I'm sure you list all the wonderful things available in town. Um, yeah. And uh, again, um, the, the little um, information tap on it, people biking through town, probably gonna stop at Clips for a coffee. Boom, there's a place to do what a lot of people are using these days and that's GPS. Um, so I don't think it's that people are never going to be able to to know where they are with all the um, all the other opportunities available for finding out where you are and where you want to go. Um, so that's a, that's my thought. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe that the metal bladed metal bladed signs with arrows and symbols, which go against a lot of the guidelines in 40C. Um, blend into the pristine historic, uh, little historic district right there in the center of town. Good. Any other discussion? Uh, Joan, you got your hand up? Joan no. Savoy? Well, discuss we're not discussing it. 
Discussion done? Mm. We're ready to vote. Claire? Proposed Claire site four. Claire Kelpie, no. You know? You know Kelpie, no. Ken? Ken Duranian, yes. Susan? Susan Gherkin, no. Robert? Unmute, Robert. Robert Thompson, yes. Alice? Alice Struthers, no. Alisa Struthers, no. Five no, two yes. The request is denied. Proposed site five. A four slot bike rack and repair station with no signage. Location of the recreation center at 274 Main Street. Do I hear a motion? I make, I make a motion to vote on proposed site six as presented. That's proposed five. Five. No, sorry. Yeah, proposed site five as presented. Ken Duraney in second. Any discussion? Yes. I have a, I have a, oh, good, go ahead. No, I was just going to say uh, that that picture in the, in the, um, with the, with the red, that's facing Main Street, correct? Is that the Main Street facade? It's tough yeah. to tell with all the snow in the picture. Oh, it's red, the other side, south side. That's the other side? That's the south side. I see. Um, okay. And the bike rack and the bench pictured are the actual style that these would be, or are those just examples of them? To the applicant, please. Um, They're the, examples. I'm sorry, Veronica. So yes, those aren't the actual styles uh, of, of what you're looking at, because they can. They, I know there's quite a few hundred out there. So, um, in terms of, and because it's in the rear of the building, what was the thinking there to to um, to put these there? the um there are children in that building um it would be they could bike to the rec center store their bikes here um the bike repair stands we are looking at a hunter green color they're purple here but they're a hunter green color um so and uh the idea is that workshops could be held to teach children um bike repair the bike trail will eventually extend all the way um, to Worcester Road along that area. And so it made good sense to have um, a bike rack there when we had the opportunity to obtain them. And I do think that these are similar to exactly what we're going to get. Uh, Joan, can you talk more about the bike rack itself? Joan Walkowitz. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I had to unmute. Um, yeah, I think there's one just like this at the town library, maybe okay. a little bit larger. Um, I think they mostly look a lot like this. This one has some funny spacing between, um, yeah. but but they're pretty standard. Yeah. We are we are looking for black um, powder coat mat on yeah. the bike rack and the bench, and like um, they did say, we're looking pretty close to what this is. I We can't say this exactly is it because it may end up being from a different company um, yep. through the RFP, but this is those are the designs that we um, chose after going through a, a, a lot sure. of um, varying companies and catalogs. So that'd be pretty much what we're looking at. And the Hunter Green, um, again, to match the windows um, at the rec center <clears throat> at the Hunter Green. That's, that's a good good choice. So there's only one bike rack and one bench at this location. Yeah, and it's only a four slot bike rack um, because again, we don't want 
50,000 bikes behind the rec center at the town hall. You know, okay. that doesn't make sense. But to have four, we can get them out off of the um, driveway and out of our yeah. parking spaces yeah. and have them in the, um, the cement good. walk up behind. Well, they're off, the, they're off the beaten path, which is nice, but will they be anchored to the pavement or whatever they're sitting on, you know? Yes, um, we had the walkway Inches done. Legs. <laughs> yeah, okay. we had the walkway done, and the um, in talking with Roger, the discussion was to extend um, the walkways done in like rectangular chunks, and um, the discussion was to extend one of those back, and they would actually be um, set to that spent part portion of the walkway. I guess is the best way to say it. So we Great. wouldn't be creating a whole nother cement pad that didn't belong it would be attached to the walkway that's currently there yeah these this these three items in this proposal remind me of what's in pepperell center right at the clock tower and i like it mm -hmm. yep i have a question for emmy yes. all of these items are who is going to maintain them is it the same as veronica pointed out that whoever you give a bid to do they do it ad infinitum or do they go so to the fashion? So these ones are going to belong to the rec center because um, yep. we'll be using them as part of our programming. So um, the goal is to have a bicycling club um, and be able to participate with clinics and care for um, those that want to learn how to take care of their bikes and the different styles of bikes. Um, so that would actually be part and parcel of the programming. Right. Now in the, on the pump where the pump is, does that have a separate stand to hold the bike? That, that was the implication that this gave me. It's yeah, this, the, it, the repair know, station. Like, no, no, the pump itself. Is there something right there that will hold a bike up while you blow the tires up if you will? Yeah, it would it would the bike repair station would be right next to the bike rack station. They're meant to go together, I guess is the best way to say it. Okay. Um so, so need, that would be attached to it. We need the bike rack to hold the bike up while I fix the tires. This, I believe this repair station also has side hooks. Um, oh, and I don't have that pictured here, but it has like drop down mm. side hooks where you can loop the spokes of your bike. Mm -hmm. mm. That's what the pick stands for, you know. <laughs> well, do it right there. No kick stands anymore. <laughs> I don't think so. No, <laughs> put it on the ground. Now, one, one last question about this is that would this not be better served? at the head of the rail trail? It, we are actually going to, um, that's completely separate, but yes, they're actually part of our proposal to the grant is to have a second bike repair station with a nine uh, or 18, Joan, I'm not quite sure, I don't remember, um, rack at that area in the parking area for the river rail trail. This is, <clears throat> this is really not the, uh, this is for the rec center always. Is that true? This is for the rec center and off of Jeff Street is going to be there. The trail is going to be coming back through that area. And we'll we'll be, um, I mean, we're the rec center. So the kids are going to be coming through our area, um, especially if they're coming from the schools or the playgrounds. So having it there and being able to be accessed and to have the security there is um, basically the safety portion for our goals. Not to mention, as I said, programming. Okay. I'm good. Further discussion? Hearing not, hearing none, we're ready to vote. Claire? Yes. Oh, Claire Copy, yeah. Do you know? Do you know Copy? Yes. Ken? Ken Duranian, yes. Sue? Susan Gherkin, yes. Robert? Robert Thompson, yes. Alice? Alice Struthers, yes. Alisa Struthers, yes. Yay. The person for site is accepted. I'd like to see more smiles on the applicants, though. <laughs> Okay, proposed to site six. <clears throat> Getting down to the gist of what we need to know. 
Well, six is exempt now, right? Isn't it seven? Um, no, they're only taking oh. one item out of the line. Oh, the, one, the one way, I'm sorry. Okay. So it is a, a 12 foot U channel post and three signs. Also requested is a graphic bike parking sign pointing for folks towards a bike rack to be placed off the parking lot closer to the entrance of town hall. Location? Yeah. Oh, town hall. So this is, if you look at your picture commissioners, if you, um, we're driving into the driveway at the back of the town hall. Oh, I see. Yeah. Cool. This is right on the uh, the corner of town hall property right there. Yep. Typically where you see the uh, pollers and yep. people, that, that corner right there. Any discussion? Yes. Oh, no. Any motion? Oh, I have, you haven't made a motion. Make a motion, Claire. <laughs> I make a motion. <clears throat> that we vote on proposed site six as presented. Do I hear a second? Ken Durrani in second. Okay, any discussion? I have a question for uh, Veronica probably because her name is on, uh, on the main sheet is that, uh, what's the building inspector say about this particular item? Um, the building inspector? Yes. Um, he hasn't made any comment one way or the other, and he has been included in, in all of our... Um, Have you asked him as a group? I mean, not you personally, but has your committee asked him about this? Um, Eric has weighed in on... Um, he was the one that told us that we should talk to you about placement of things for these. He was the one that pointed out the Historic District Commission yep. has read through our application and he has not made an objection to this. Okay. I should also uh, point out that the signage was what was going to go in that corner. Um, the signage, because we are not making Jeff's one, one way, we won't have a sign right on that corner. The bike path would be um, the bike uh parking would be wherever makes the most sense in the town hall parking lot so it might not be right on that corner actually it probably won't be right on that corner um i would also point out that this is project rank number eight townwide bike rack project of the um uh 2018 complete streets proposal which the town did not get that a bike rack at the town hall parking lot was part of that. So this just um, uh, piggybacks on that to have bike parking at the town hall. This could be convenient for people for town meetings or doing other business at town hall. But the exact location um, was negotiated. We wouldn't be taking away parking spots. Thank you. Um, if that's the concern. I have a question. I'm a little confused. Is the bike parking going to be for the bike rack that's at the rec center? Or are you talking about additional bicycle parking behind the town hall or near the town hall? It is a, is it, can I, am I okay to answer? Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's additional bike parking behind Town Hall. Okay. And if you look at your packet, um, the page following the um, proposed site six request, there's a second page to that. And it shows the single sided grid bike rack, nine bike capacity, black. Um, similar to what Emmy had said, uh, you know, the powder coated black. Does anybody want to add anything to that? Did we understand what that is? I'd like to know who did, who's who's going to determine where this is placed. Yes. Well, I expect that we should we be fortunate enough to be granted the um, or awarded the grant. I would imagine that we would talk to facilities um, and see where they would 
um, think is the best place to put it. Yeah. Um, the, uh, if it were me, I would put it down. You can't see my screen. But um, the trees, you know, you park on the left and there's spaces on the right. I would put it either there um, or on the corner there on the right hand side when you pull into the parking. Somewhere down there seems reasonable to me, but um, I am not a biker. Joan Wachowitz is our, re our um, biker, so she might have a different spot, but we would work with facilities and um, see where they thought was the best placement. Yeah. So there will still be three metal signs attached to a 12 foot U channel post. Just two. Two of them now. There would not be three. Um, uh, what had also a graphic bike parking sign. The graphic bike parking sign is what is shown. Yeah. With, with, yes. with the arrow and so the parking. The parking and you'll have and watch for pedestrians, but mm -hmm. not begin one way. Okay. Yeah. So those the are standard. We're not yeah. doing that part of okay. it. Those are standard at Astro um, approved signs that you'd see anywhere. Right. Um, but I have a question on on the uh, the mounting of these. This is a twelve foot green post and two signs, but in the other proposals, they're the black Vicksburg style. Why is this one different? So part of the um, uh, the U channel post uh, will be in the ground, um, but uh, they wouldn't be any higher than your average stop sign. Um, the Vicksburg. In, yeah, I, I meant the, the the color and the and the style of the pole is is different than the Vicksburg. Is it to, is it to blend in with the the uh, the green the aesthetic of the town hall, exterior green color. Uh, so yes, and because there, it's not on the main um, the main roads. Okay. Um, That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. And where the where the uh, red oval is in the handout, <laughs> I don't know how high that snowbank is, but it, what it wasn't a very snowy winter, and we could get to twelve feet there pretty quickly, and they're covered over. So <laughs> just something to keep in mind. But the, um, when the location is discussed. I agree that watch the pedestrian ones over there. I wouldn't even see that. So um, to Ronnie's point, move it, move it um, closer to the other side might make more sense. Madam Chairman, uh, where are we with the historic district in this discussion of this particular item? This is within the boundaries of historic district one. Thank you. Town Hall property is his is included in historic district one. So the the, uh, the the definition the center is, and the, town so the hall. description the description of the required um, description <laughs> the description of the required um, appearance of signs in historic district applies here. Yes, it's. It does typically uh, letters painted on wood without symbol or trademark. Symbol being arrows. Can ice. I ask a question about that? Sure. Um, what about the regular highway uh, signs that are put up? Um, these are the standard high, we worked with MassDOT on this signage. And these are not signs that, um, these are more highway signs than yep. they are signs that one would put on a building yep. to describe your business. Um, but so, we're not on a highway. No. Nope. Um, they're next to a road. Um, not a highway. Not a highway, if, if you, I should have said road, but they're, um, they're the same sorts of signs that are, well, uh, that that are used for um, for traffic. Yeah. And so, they, Alice, the question is: No, they these particular metal signs with symbols and and arrows do not uh, fall within what 
forty C recommends and guides us to. Any other discussion? But if they were mounted to the building instead of on a post, they would, correct? They would have to comply with 40C, painted wood and so on. Yeah, because right. this, right. this is not on Route 13. This is off of Route 13, so it's not the state highway, as you're saying. Um, but mm -hmm. they are the standard MassDOT signs. That's true. Are these appropriate? And keeping in mind that there is already a sign on the town hall property. Actually, there's a memorial and a sign. Which is painted wood. Right. And this would fall as outside of one sign, letters painted on wood, as stated in 40C. Good point. Okay. Any other discussion? Then we're ready to vote. Claire? Claire Copy? No. You know? Copy? No. Ken? Pandoranian, no. Susan? Susan Gherkin, no. Robert? Robert Thompson, no. Alice? Alice Struthers, no. Alisa Struthers, no. The pro site six request is rejected. Last and not least. The pro site seven request. Get down to what the verbiage we need. Yeah, this one's a little more complex. It looks. One green 12 foot U channel post and three signs plus arrows to indicate bike routes as follows, meaning showing metal signs down below with arrows and symbols. Uh, location uh, route, one, route 119 and Depot Street. So this is where a one-way depot street empties onto 119. This is on the, the corner of Anderson's Funeral Home property, which is within the historic district boundary. Yeah. I hear a motion. I make a motion that we vote on proposal number seven as stated. I hear a second. Who was the second? Sorry. I haven't heard a second. Can do mean another second? Okay. You got two seconds. <laughs> All right. I like about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Any discussion? I want to know what type <clears throat> of camera took that picture. It's kind of flattened out and twice as long as it should be. Just out of curiosity. Well, the it's outside our shot. focus, you know. Google Maps. Let's, let's keep focused. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look twice, too. How was that picture taken is right. I find, yeah. um, I'll put my two cents worth in. And I find it to be number one sign pollution. Um, hmm. And to have people, again, driving along Main Street before a crosswalk at McNabb's, distracted by reading signs in a very busy area, people pulling out of the gas station. Um, I, I don't, I, I find it to be a, a dangerous place to distract drivers by reading a sign. It's not a sign that can direct anyone down that street. That's a one-way street that exits at the sign onto 119. And again, these are metal signs and these 
with symbols and arrows, and they are within the boundaries of historic district one. So let me understand that this, this three, yeah, that's a rather complicated, it's a lot. Um, What's the intent of these to point people to the, to the rail train? Um, can I answer? Yeah. Veronica? Uh, there is on Depot Street, we are, uh, part of our proposal is to put in a contraflow bike lane. Right now, bikes have to follow the rules of traffic as they do, and they would only be able to come up depot. Our proposal includes a contraflow bike lane, allowing bikes to travel in the opposite direction down oh. that road. Wow. And so for that reason, a, a driver would not be looking for the bike route necessarily, but a bike cyclist maybe. And therefore these signs would direct them to the contraflow bike lane. Right now, Bow Street will also have a contraflow bike lane um, on it to uh, keep bicyclists out of the center of town. So one of our goals in this project is walkability and bikeability safety for the pedestrian and the bicyclist. We're not necessarily um, trying to do this for the car travel. Well, so, um, okay. so they will be coming down Bow Street, which is one way outside, but Contraflow allows the bicyclists to come down. They will be crossing at the crosswalk at McDav, walking their bicycle, if they're not a confident bicyclist, across in front of Mr. Mike's, and then the bike route down Depot Street will take, will allow them to return to the bike trail. We are trying with the bike, um, uh, trail coming into town to allow people that are biking to come in and enjoy the center of town to mm -hmm. visit the businesses that Agreed. are there. Yeah. And I a understand lot of that. directional signs are for that purpose. They're not for the person driving in a car. I mean, if they see the sign, great, but most of the signs, a lot of traffic signs, you can't see driving in your car. So it's to allow people to come and visit the wonderful center of our town. So if they cross across what Pat McNabs following a bike trail and they cross the crosswalk and they go down the sidewalk, they will visually see the bike lane painted on Depot Street. But they may not see it from Bow Street. Oh, okay. And so it's to point out the bike route around town. I, I see. Uh, I don't know how many of you are bicyclists or have done this, but that's mm -hmm. um, yep. ride that's the bike awesome. all the time. Yeah. Again, uh, I will um, I'll mention that um, this is uh, Anderson Funeral Home property, and they all already have a one sign. Um, correct, but it, it's not to allow cars to go down there. It's to point the bike route facing north, um, and. Uh, facing east, facing west. So it's to be mounted there. Um, the, there is a right of way, a town right of way. Um, so yes, it is the corner of Anderson's, but there is a right of way on all roads in town that our town, um, you know, that the town can. Um, Within the historic district. Um, correct. So are these, are these, um, do these, does this proposed site tie into a pending bike lane approval? It's, has that been approved yet? Or do the two go together? Um, well, they, they sort of go together. I mean, if we yeah. can't put a bike lane sign right there, we don't put a bike lane sign. Without a bike lane, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the bike, if the project is in, approved, then yes, a contraflow bike lane will go in on Depot Street, yes. And I'm sure there are highway standards uh, for signs of this type. I don't know them. I'm, I'm an architect, not a highway engineer, but you can't put signs too close to each other on a corner. There have to be so many. So that aside, um, I'm still wondering if they'll be able to figure out where the bike trail is without these. Uh, we did, I just want to say we did meet with MassDOT on all of these signs and um, 
since this would be along 119, we do need to get a permit for them. So these are your, these are just like that one-way sign that's sitting right there in the circle. Um, that had to be approved by someone. I don't know if it was approved by the historic district. Um, someone put that in and it's Mass Dot who controls um, Route 119 and the directional signage. Okay. That's all I had. Ready to vote? Blair? Yes. Blair Kopi, no. No. Kopi, no. Ken? Ken Duranian, no. Susan? Susan Gherkin, no. Robert? Robert Johnson, no. Alice? Alice Struthers, no. Lisa Struthers, no. Request is denied. I would like to ask for a motion due to COVID restraint and the inability for us to meet all together as a commission. I'd entertain a motion to have the commissioners individually sign off on this application at your earliest convenience out of session at the town clerk's office, Townsend Town Hall. I so move. Pending, oh, pending okay. the signature of the applicant, uh, Veronica, who has committed to us that she will sign that tomorrow. Thank you. Can I have a motion? So move. I second. Take a vote, Claire. Yes. You know? Yes. State your names, please. Claire. Claire Copy. Eno Copy, yes. Ken. Ken Duranian, yes. Susan. Susan Gherkin, yes. Robert. Robert Johnson, yes. Ellis. Ellis Struthers, yes. Elisa Struthers, yes. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'm making a motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. A vote? Claire? Pardon me? But voting to adjourn. Yes. You know? To adjourn. Yes. Dan? Ken Duranian, yes. Susan? Susan Duncan, yes. Robert Thompson. Robert Thompson. Thompson, yes. Alice. Alice Struthers, yes. Lisa Struthers, yes. Meetings adjourned. Thank you all. Good night, Thank everyone. You.